kicking ass, Agent. Electronic device detected. That's a little hard to talk about, Stan. I mean, we all knew him, right? device detected. Henry? What are you doing back here? Hiding. From what? Everything. Why? What's going on? Nothing in particular. Wanna talk about it? It's nothing. Just feeling a little out of my depth. You. Why do you say it like that? If you're out of your depth, where does that leave the rest of us? You're... that's a good word. Indomitable? Indomitable. Henry, give yourself some credit. Now, stop brooding and come get something to eat. Henry? Henry? Yeah? Henry, he's gone. Yeah, I just, uh... Can you just give me a moment with him? Of course. Doc, for what it's worth, I know you did all you could. Eight or nine months ago, I would have been able to save him. <laughs> Back then, you probably wouldn't have needed to. He was a pharmacist. Not a job where you usually have to worry about getting shot. T take your time, Henry. I'll be right outside. We're barely hanging on. It's hard to motivate people to fight for their lives when their lives aren't worth fighting for. Good to meet you. Henry Hayes. Look, I sympathize, Henry. But we have our own problems, and they are big problems. Maybe we can help. I know you need people. You keep telling me you can't spare anyone. Not right now, but if you guys can take some pressure off of us. We are already doing what we can. Are you? Because outside those walls, it's perdition. We let our guard down just for a second, and it's over. All of this. Whatever you're doing out there, we're not feeling it in here. Well, Sheriff, I hope you're ready for some extra work. Electronic device detected. Portable device detected. We've received a distress call from a community near the Treasury Department. They're getting harassed by outcasts. They need help. You can do something, can't you? Civilians in danger. Jed wants to rewire the whole thing. It's not an emergency yet, but better to take care of it before it becomes one. What's the downside? Well, it's going to mean taking down the generator for a few hours, at a minimum. How much of a concern is that? Given a choice between a planned outage at our convenience versus an unplanned outage that'll most likely happen at the worst possible time. Can't argue with that. What do you need from me? Just the thumbs up to get to work. Ah, oh, come on. You don't need my blessing for stuff like this. I'm just gonna defer to you anyway. Of all people, you never have to ask permission to do what you believe needs to be done. Okay, Henry. I'll try to keep it in mind. I understand you two are having a difference of opinion. That's a polite way of putting it. With drainage systems, there's what works and what doesn't. Opinion has nothing to do with it. In your opinion. You can't argue with physics, dude. Guys, hold up. What's the specific problem here? Digging a trench. And that's bad. 
As soon as it rains, it's going to turn into a big pool of mud. And most likely, it would overflow and flood that part of the garden. That's bullcrap. I've been using trenches for years. Yeah, well, maybe that works in Tucson or wherever it is you're from. But DC was built in a literal swamp. It's going to be a disaster. In your opinion, Mike, this is Janine's area of expertise. So we're gonna go with her recommendation, but if you really want to prove a point, dig a trench somewhere outside the settlement where it won't cause any harm if Janine is right. Did Maybe I will. Bring some hip waders in case it rains. Civilians in distress. We're screwed. Any way you look at it, absolutely screwed. Come on, Henry, we'll figure it out. How, huh? We're running out of food. It's been weeks since the last supply drop. I don't think any more are coming. We're not going to starve. A heaping plate of wishful thinking isn't going to cut it. Our crops aren't coming along fast enough or well enough. Have you been out there lately? The city is a buffet of wild game. There's more raccoons hanging out on K Street than there used to be lobbyists. It doesn't do us any good if we're on lockdown in here. Those fucking outcasts are hell-bent on wiping us off the map. Henry, we're going to pull through. We can eat grasshoppers and kudzu if we have to. This ain't Jamestown. We're not gonna end up as cannibals. I'm sorry. You're right. Yeah. You're right. I, I just... lost perspective there for a minute. You've got a heavy load, that's for sure. But you got us this far. I'm with you all the way. Civilians in danger. Why don't you boys get on out of here before you overstay your welcome? Overstaying my welcome is kind of a hobby of mine. Lucky for you, you can spend your final moments doing something you enjoy. Is that a fact? Realistically, I doubt you'll get much enjoyment out of it. Think you can take me? Give it a try. I'm no match for you in a fight. But I can kill you with a word if I have to. Do I have to? We'll go overstay our welcome somewhere else. Good thinking. See you around. Not if I see you first. Civilians in distress. Look, Henry, I don't know what to tell you. You could start with the truth. You said the situation was under control. It was under control. Up until it wasn't. Which was when, exactly? I don't know, Thursday? So you've been sitting on this info for going on five days. Five days? I wasn't sitting on anything. We've been working around the clock to get this fixed. But this ain't really about that, is it? This is about me. You don't trust me at all. You're right about that. Why should I? Why do you trust Janine? Because she actually knows what she's doing. And the rare time she doesn't, she tells me straight up. With you, it's always some kind of song and dance or a pile of excuses. I don't trust people who only tell me what they think I want to hear. So stop doing it.